Hey ya, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, it's been a while since we did one of these reactions to State of Place, but a lot of people have been asking me on what my thoughts are on the new Harry Potter game. And frankly, I don't have one because I haven't watched it, so I don't know. But you know, um, I know of Harry Potter. I watched it growing up. I'm familiar with the characters and you know, um, and in my home my sister and my brother were actually huge fans of this they would play the games and because they would play it all the time at home like the chamber of secrets game i remember that from the playstation one or maybe it was the computer but since they played it i would be you know i'd want to join in on the fun and see what they were playing and that's how i knew about it now i wouldn't say it would be a disservice for me to say that i'm a huge huge fan because i don't really know all of the all of the all of the spells i don't know all of the little nuances that each characters have the special relationship that each characters have but i do know the big events that happen in harry potter i know that snape was actually always in love with harry's mom i know the people who died and the how they died even i know who harry ends up with i know who ron ends up with and uh, I know about the history of Harry's parents, how his dad was actually the bully in high school back, back, or back in wizardry school. So things like that, I know. But, you know, if ever I'm going to be impressed or looking forward to this game, it's not going to be because I'm a Harry Potter fan. It's going to be because I love playing video games. And I'm, with that said, I guess let's go on ahead and check this out together. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, no, they're not doing that. Okay. Port key games with a big world. Lumos. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want to be. Yes! Oh my gosh! You can customize when what When you we arrive look at like. Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, I love it. and potions classes, to name a few. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. You may begin. Not bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here, you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions, and more. 
In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets, enchantments and mysteries. You'll discover dungeons and secret passageways, Accio. as well as challenging puzzles Accio. that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve. You okay. may even find yourself in iconic locations <gasps> you've never been able to explore before. Gabby! It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, oh. you may recognize a few faces. Ah, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win them over. I oh, remember this hunters. guy. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. Ones designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed. Lumos. Opportunities for adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts lies in the balance. Opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, and sinister oh, witches wow. and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve their own goals. In fact, there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? Are you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. Interesting. Okay. Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities, including blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Mastery of the Shield Charm Ooh. allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. Counterattack with powerful stunning charms. Allowing you to follow up. Hey, with I like that slow mo. I like that. Oh, hi, that's interesting. This is going to be a challenging game. I love it. Students who become particularly adept at spell casting will find many ways to exploit Are those their enemies' weakness. Cool. Slam with Descendo. Roast with Incendio. Devastate your enemies using various finishes. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest foes. Mixing Bra. and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat style. On your path to become the ultimate duelist. Bro. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. In addition to classes and spells, you'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills 
To aid your progression as a wizard, complete okay. challenges throughout the world to earn experience. Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells, plants, and potions to increase their power. Decide which talents best fit your playstyle to allow you to focus on your favorite types of magic. You can also loot, Dude, buy, loot. or craft your I own magical gear that will increase your offensive and defensive capabilities in combat. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when cutting your ingredients. Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to further your magical education at Hogwarts, progressing your development as a witch or wizard. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. They've thought of everything. That's actually pretty impressive. Grind, deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. <laughs> so cute. You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate unsuspecting enemies. In Beasts class, you will learn about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter, both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. Oh. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so that you may travel around the world more quickly. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Huh. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. And over time, you'll learn their stories. Well, that's great. This is our chance. Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. <gasps> Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, connecting with them more easily than with humans. But what happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules... Sneaking in the restricted section again! ...is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin... We've been over this, boy. I... Hufflepigs cannot reverse a curse. ...with a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. Welcome to the Room of Requirement. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Uh, I need that in real Since you life. need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and upgrade your gear. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. <gasps> it's like Monster Rancher! Oh my god, that's so cool! Not everything you need on your journey is available at Hogwarts. You'll want to visit the nearby wizarding village of Hogsmeade, where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. <laughs> but Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the times wander the village outskirts. You must avoid them or defeat them. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. As the school year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine, or coat the ground with snow or rain. Ah! Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories to tell, and missions with which they could use your assistance. 
be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, <laughs> while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the Room of Requirement. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Master Spells Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover ancient secrets. Combat mystical threats. Learn long-forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Here, in Hogwarts Legacy. That was your first extended look at Hogwarts Legacy. Now let's hear from the real wizards and witches behind the game. The attention to detail and the passion and the love for this brand that the team has is astonishing. Our team is so excited to take all of the love that they put into this as fans and give it to fans. This is the game that they've dreamed of for 20 years. Yeah, I can see that. Seems like it. The lore of the Wizarding World is already so rich, and all we had to do was harness those elements and build a game out of it. The movies, the books, they all touched me in such a way that it makes me want to go to experience Hogwarts, makes me put in so much more detail into this game. We really want to make sure that anything we add or anything we play with or anything that we explore really feels authentic. Bringing to life just the charm and the love, everything we have for the books, and then marrying that with the iconic experiences from the movies that fans will recognize is really just the perfect handshake between the two. Just the discovery of like seeing things portrayed for the first time, maybe they've read something and had a picture in their head the whole time, but then finally to get to touch it, to walk around it. You've got all of these elements that can come together to create this amazing AAA open world action RPG. When it comes to the open world, it's just, yeah. we just knew it wasn't gonna be enough to just stare out of the windows of Hogwarts and wonder what it's like out there. But the final question that fans ask is what's beyond that? What's beyond the Forbidden Forest? What's gonna be beyond Hogsmeade? What's beyond the Black Lake if I start traveling south? And we just felt like we had to answer those questions. <laughs> We were creating a real wide palette of opportunities and ways to explore the world. You're gonna see different stories that are really exclusive to who you were in the world. Hogwarts Legacy is an original story that takes place in the late 1800s. You are a new student who is starting at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year, which is very unusual. So already there's a bit of an edge and a bit of a mystery. The original story that we tell in the game is your story of what you did you know, in the wizarding world that you haven't seen before. Or make our own magic with our story we're trying to tell. Fans are familiar with the wizarding world from, you know, the 1900s and on, really. But now, with this world, we're able to sort of create a space that's their own. Mm, smart, yeah. Fans of the series will know that ancient magic has been around for a long time, to say the least, and that Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. And the avatar, the player, has the ability to sense it and possibly wield it or control it. Our process of development started with rereading the books. And over development, we reread the books many times. Every time we'd start with a new feature, we'd dig into that 
And then beyond, we would go into the films. Being able to put our own spin on what this universe is was a pretty big deal. I helped design a piece that nobody has ever seen before, the Hufflepuff common room. You know, as a Hufflepuff, you always wonder, like, what, what is my common room supposed to look like? It's close enough mm -hmm, to the world that mm -hmm. we know that fans will recognize certain names, they'll recognize spells, they'll recognize certain locations. I recognize that doorway, I recognize that classroom. But mostly, it's gonna be an entirely new wizarding world that no one's ever experienced. Yes, yes. When people engage in the wizarding world, what's the one anchor? Like, what's the thing that everyone comes back to? What's the thing that grounds it all and grounds all these characters and grounds all these figures? And for us, we really felt like that answer was Hogwarts itself. That school, that famous school of witchcraft and wizardry, is really what binds it all. How to bring Hogwarts to life, that was a very big challenge because as everybody knows, Hogwarts is huge. Now we need to know exactly how this passage connects to this passage for a game, because you're gonna have to walk it. And of course, again, the Sentient Castle, it's, it's got new surprises up its sleeves. It likes to keep its students on its toes. We've put so many little secrets and passageways and rooms in this castle. We recreate those very important locations. And then there's these other places that are only mentioned in the books or just alluded to. Really? And we have to make the connective tissue that brings yeah, all that's this together. Nice, uh, for you to, I'm happy Having for you to a fans. world that is a breathing, living world is very hard to do because it's all about the details. And as a concept team, we really got into those details and studied wow. history, studied architecture. I hope that when fans play the game, they get as lost in it as I do. I can just be reviewing a side mission, and all of a sudden I find myself wandering Hogwarts for like 45 minutes because it's so beautiful. The community is absolutely going to love Hogwarts Legacy. It's going to be so fun. Get that letter to Hogwarts and go to Hogwarts. We're so <laughs> excited for people to come to this, to inhabit it, to actually enter the Hogwarts that we built. This is your Hogwarts Legacy. We truly hope you enjoyed the Hogwarts Legacy State of Play. Our team is so grateful for the excitement and for the passion that all of you bring to this. It's truly what fuels us. On behalf of our team at WB Games Avalanche, we want to thank you for being here today, and we'll see you at Hogwarts. Wow. That's our show. We hope you're excited for the magic to come. See you next. Okay, so... <laughs> First of all, I just want to say I'm very, very happy that they actually got fans to make the game because as someone, I'd say I'm a bystander or like I'm an audience to this fandom and to this um, franchise. And I'm so happy for the fans who are going to play this game because it seems like they touch, like they thought of everything. They thought of things I didn't even thought of, but I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably in the book. And when they mentioned that there were going to be places there that were only available in the book all i kept thinking was wow the fans will have such a great time with this they're gonna love this game for me i also think it was such a good good move that you can customize what the wizard would look like so meaning you can make them look like yourself that would be so amazing and i feel like it would be so trippy at the same time but also i love how there's gonna be a dark or deeper element to it that there's gonna be substance especially you know, I know of the spell Avada Kedavra, and that's basically a death spell. That's when you kill someone. And so to hear that in the game, I was kind of like, huh, really? They're going to include that? So that's interesting because it makes me think that it's going to get pretty dangerous, which I am which I know everyone would love to get into because, I mean, even though I wasn't a huge super fan of the franchise, when I'd watch it as a kid, I'd fantasize like being a wizard myself and... <laughs> You know, I remembered, I suddenly remembered while watching this that um, I made fan fiction <laughs> with regards to Hogwarts. So, yeah, <laughs> that's how much I kind of like wanted to try or try to imagine what it must be like to be a witch or a wizard. One question though, I wonder if they're also going to be including the other wizarding schools like in Harry Potter 4. If not, then I think that's a 
probably me overreaching or maybe that's going to be included in any sequels that they're planning to make because right now it seems like they really want to center it towards Hogwarts and that school and it was really nice as well that they um they based this or like they set this in the time of the late 1800s it didn't seem like it at first but I was like oh yeah it does it does seem like in the eight, it's the 1800s. It doesn't seem as modern. It's so smart for me because, I mean, for me, it might not make much of a difference, but for fans out there, they'll really feel like this is a place to call their own because they won't have it at the back of their mind. They won't be comparing it to some more, to something in the movies or to something in the books that they read. So this is this is exciting. This is some pretty exciting stuff right here. I. I, I want to watch it. Like, I wonder if there's going to be a collector's edition so that you can get the art book because the artwork that they put into creating the game seems to be very beauty beautiful as well. Another couple of thoughts that I have, like, since it's set in the late 1800s and, uh, you know, obviously before the time of Harry Potter, Dumbledore was just a kid. Well, they did mention in the state of play that we will be seeing some familiar faces, but I wonder how many. Like, hopefully for me, I just want to see Dumbledore really for me so that would be really fun um also they mentioned that you could be whatever witch or wizard you want to be so i kind of was you know maybe it's because that's just the type it's the game i'm playing right now but i thought of grand theft auto like i wonder if you could just cast spells on random strangers or if you can wreak havoc as like a bad witch or a wizard because that's gonna be you know like in red dead Redemption. well in grand theft auto you don't really have like a good guy bad guy thing but in red dead redemption you could be a good cowboy or a bad cowboy so i wonder if there would be measurements to that and i wonder if the ending would change depending on if you're a good wizard or a bad wizard um oh yeah they did mention that you uh your character has the ability to control may have the ability to control the old magic the old legendary magic so that kind of that alone makes it interesting or exciting for me because if you plan to become a bad witch how powerful of a bad witch will you be so that's gonna be fun um and with the sorting hat i wonder how they're gonna do that will there be like a personality that's happening on the screen as you go about it so or will it just be at random oh and they have confirmed that there will be no microtransactions so that's always a win and yeah, I can't, and you know, I can't wait. I, knowing me, I might loot everything in this world and just explore it. Um, try to try to have more than one save slot because I might want to try being a bad witch and a good witch. So, <laughs> all in all, as someone who's not even a super fan, I also wonder how many people will become huge fans of the Harry Potter franchise now because of this game. Like, I kid you not, this game might do a good job of bringing fans in, you know? Oh, and can I just say one last thing? Like, I love the part that it seems like we're gonna be able to have a... I guess you could call it a ranch where we could take care of our animals, like kind of like in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. I mean, because I love animals. That's why I'm thinking of, can I collect all of them? Can I have all of the beasts in my camp or something? Can I want to I wanna get the one that looks like a cat. Because <laughs> she looks so cute. Oh, and will we be able to name them? Because then I can name all of my beasts with all of my pets. That's gonna be interesting. Anyway, I mean, how about you guys? What do you guys have to say? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you, I mean, maybe I, you you guys as fans have something else to say, which I haven't thought of, obviously. So yeah, just sound off down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.